All right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome, welcome. One moment, please, while I swap over my game thing here. You know, I've taken to, instead of having a whole bunch of individual things for individual games, I instead have one game that I just switch around. It makes it a lot neater in my little stream thing. Not that it matters that much, but there you go. It is what it is. Um, so that said, hi, welcome. Hope that you're all doing well and had a good weekend. Um, I am, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling mostly okay. Uh, it was a, a relatively rough work day today, but um, I'm not feeling too, too bad. And I'm excited because today we are going to be slaying the Spire. And I will say the goal for today is going for speed. So my goal is to uh, hopefully beat my record of about 16 minutes. Now, that's nowhere near the world record or anything like that, and I'm not using a TAS, so obviously it's not going to make any difference, but I'm not going to be doing anything like using a specific seed or stuff like that. So hopefully we'll be able to move through and um, get, the, get the spire done relatively quickly and still have a fun time as always. Uh, but that said, I'm going to be turning off the uh, the voting for the cards, uh, just as an FYI, because I'm just going to be moving through stuff really quickly. Um, but regardless, should be fun. Hopefully you all will enjoy it. Um, that said, for this particular strategy, we're going to be using Ironclad, and with a zero ascension, so no extra elites or anything like that, to try to climb up as quickly as possible. And let's do it. What's up, whale? Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, man. Not very good options. Okay. There we go. So essentially the goal for all of this is going to end up being the path of least resistance. And fundamentally, as far as Ironclad is concerned, the biggest thing that I want is, or the biggest things I should say that I want, are two things. I need strength, and I need to get vulnerabilities, essentially. Um, more specifically as well, I need to make sure that I have um, some ability to, uh, to do um, area of effect damage. So hit multiple bad guys at the same time, which is why we're going to be looking for a couple of specific cards that he ends up potentially getting. It's fun, though. But um, that said, I hope that you all had good weekends. Hope that it was a fun time and that uh, all of you have fun and or interesting plans for the, for the week. I know my plans aren't particularly exciting or fun, but should be interesting regardless. So I'm going to be getting rid of essentially all of my blocks, um, at least as efficiently and effectively as possible, because I will essentially never block through this entire thing, except right there. The only time that will change is if I get, um, there's a very specific item or a specific relic that allows you to, um, to block. Uh, it allows you to block without, uh, without having to deal with any major issues. Um, like basically, if you um, if you don't uh, what's it called if you don't have any block, it grants you block automatically. But we're just trying to play fast. And look, it's Mathewin. Hey, Mathewin, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope that you are doing well and all things are good.
I'm also not going to be attempting to do any sort of uh, wackiness with the, um, what's it called, with any of the, um, you know, the stuff, any of the, uh, any of the, um, like, power cards and relics and anything along those lines. I just want to move as quickly as possible. I'll just use the gold merchant. Ah, excellent. So that limit break is a critical part of the generalized strategy for this particular um, this particular attempt or this style of climb. No, oh, fucker. Let's go. Hey, look, squats. So that's what I was saying. Uh, we're not doing voting today, Mathewin. No, and the reason is because um, I'm trying to just go as quickly as possible. I'm trying to beat my uh, my personal record for um, going through the um, the game. Essentially. And I just hope that you all enjoy it, at least a little bit. Well, this is not ideal. And also that was kind of stupid on my part. Bugger! See, that's the problem when you're not doing something that's a known seed. All right, let's see what we got this time. We're gonna try to move. We're, we're, we're moving, we're going quick. Okay, I got my path. Oh, uh, yeah. Combats. That may be a different story. Uh, it doesn't matter. Having the uh, first three combats be one HP is always a good choice, no matter what. Ooh! Incidentally, all three of those cards are ones that I want to have in my deck. So that is very disappointing that I ended up seeing that. Alright, good. I'm liking seeing the flexes. Uh, I can't... Uh, I've already got two flexes, but... I can't afford the pummel, unfortunately, so we'll get rid of a defense. All right, let's roll. Smith one of the flexes. <laughs> now our slow burner gotta go fast. It's true, I am trying to go fast, but the thing is that it's really not that fast. It's, it's wannabe fast. It's wish I was fast. Oh, that's a good one to have. Or rather, it can be very useful to have, I should say. Oh, bugger. I could have taken him out if I had used the other thing. I am still the greatest slow runner of all time. And don't you forget it. See that that particular item that I just got is utterly pointless. 
absolutely pointless. Because I will never be playing defense cards. And that's what dexterity gives you, is it helps you get more from defensive cards. <laughs> he sounds so lame when he dies. I'm sorry, but he does. <sighs> Two more damage. Uh, pummel. All right. Nothing there. I realistically, I will still remain the greatest slow runner that has ever slow run off of all of this so no worries fear not fair viewers the slowness of my slow runs shall remain ever slow really freaking really one hit point left really you gonna do me like that bro Um, thanks, I guess, that I can't lose the title of the slowest slow runner. So the smoke bomb can come in handy um, later on in particular, if there's something that I gotta get away from. Incidentally, I have gotten a, um, a really solid play on this particular boss previously. Unfortunately, now it's not the case, but I have before. I promise. It was really good, too. Go ahead and do this. Dang. I thought that would be enough to stop it. Yes, I know it's a kid, but still. Problem is. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, man. You know what would be really useful right now? An explosive potion. That would be insanely helpful at this exact moment. Dang it, I'm gonna die again. There we go. I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. <sighs> Here, I'll even do my own squats. So I know I had asked before, but is everybody doing all right? Having fun? Have a good weekend and whatnot.
I do hope so. Ooh. I'm personally more a fan of Sword Boomerang than I am of Whirlwind. A lot of people like Whirlwind. I am not one of those people. Hopefully I'll get like the one power in the entire game that helps me with this build. Ooh, back to school shopping. That's fun. I think it's fun anyway. Sounds cool. Ooh, I can get both of them. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with the boomerang. Uh, what do we got? Really? Bro, you're killing me here. I now officially have no defense. This is actually incredibly helpful, though, what I just got. Being able to uh, gain energy by reshuffling my deck, that is enormously helpful for this particular build. <laughs> Although, actually, I guess it's really not, because the whole point of the build is to, like, not have not not spend a lot of time in combats Dang it, I'm I'm really mad. I haven't gotten a flex. I haven't gotten um a uh, I haven't gotten a limit break. I haven't gotten nothing. Speak of the devil! He must have heard me. Heard me whining about it. Um, is there anything I want to remove? I'm going to get rid of Bash. And then we will smith our flex. All right, here we go. This will be interesting. It's, it's EA. Hi there, EA. How are you doing? Hope that all is well. I am somewhat vainly attempting to beat this evil, 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 terrible creature. I think I can do it. Got him. Okay, good. Limit break! Yes! And... Let's go with this. I deliberately took the hat. The reason I deliberately took the hat is because I know that I'm not going to be blocking. So, why not have a hat? I hate this thing. Once 
once this really gets going, you you all will see. Trust me, it'll be awesome. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, just take it. She will go with upgrading all of my strikes. I will say that I am going to end up getting rid of a decent number of my strikes as we go, or that's essentially next on the list of stuff to get rid of. But if it can be avoided, I may as well hang on to them for a little while. I'm just hoping to get some better stuff here. Son of a mother. Right. I, I really need to up the limit break here. Shooby doo box. That was convenient though. to sell. I can't buy a flex. I can't buy in flame. Oh, those, those, those stupid red masked sons of biz niches. I will rest here though. Oh, you work late today? I'm sorry to hear that EA. I, uh, I work late today as well. It's never a fun thing. I'm sorry that you ended up having to do that. I'm kind of thinking I should get rid of Heavy Strike, if given a chance. This guy can be problematic and annoying. Before this guy, I'm gonna rest. I'm. I don't want to take a chance. I I don't have as good of a deck as I'd like to when facing this guy, unfortunately. No!
Homie stole my break. Ah. Uh. I think it's probably too late for me now. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Oh! Ooh, butter chicken curry. That sounds delicious. I'm jealous. Ah, we must do death squats. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to do this. It's really annoying too because I've done it before. I swear. Like swearsies. Super duper swearsies. Oh, yeah. Really? We're gonna try. We're, we're gonna make it. RNG is the worst, you guys. I don't know if you knew, but it really is. I'm glad it is, that it's this version of these guys because there's another version of these baddies where um, one of them has like 15 health or it has 13 health and the other one has like 30 or something along those lines. I don't remember exactly what it is. Basically, you can't take one of them out in a single turn. Ugh. Garbage. I don't want it, I don't need it. Uh, I haven't been able to get rid of like any of my cards. This is horrible. Seriously, this is bad. Okay, thunderclap is good. I'm not going after the elite. Oh, bugger. I don't know why I did that. That was really, really stupid on my part. Incidentally, that should be the, like, motto of my stream. I don't know why I did that. It was really stupid on my part. It's, uh... It's pretty much my... My thesis right there. Ugh. This is not ideal. This is really not ideal. <laughs> I mean, isn't that basically what I just said? I'm pretty sure that's basically what I just said.
Like, I admit I did the dog. Okay? There's, there's another way of putting it. I didn't mean to do the dumb. I will get this because that gives me strength. And I'm going to rest because I don't want to go into this fight with only 15. Even though I shouldn't have too, too much of an issue. I could have enough of an issue that this becomes an annoyance. <laughs> well, yeah, CEA, that's me like every day. You know, like. Why, why? Why did I do this thing? This was just about the worst thing that I could have done. Of all of the options that I could have done, why did I do this thing specifically? It's so annoying! Got one health left. One! break. Yes! <sighs> and I got a limit break. Excellent. I'm going to take the Runic Pyramid. The reason I'm taking the Runic Pyramid is that lets me keep my cards. So if I'm able to keep my cards, that means that I'll have a much easier time of lining up, gaining the, uh, the strength boosts that I need at various times. And hopefully I'll be able to get rid of some of these less desirable cards at some point. I don't care too, too much for gold, so I'm fine with that. I should have saved the flex, but I wasn't thinking. You know, as is tradition for me.
So I'm saving the limit break for when my flex comes back. This is not good, you guys. This does not bode well for Danny. I am getting rid of this stupid carnage thing. Because I definitely do not need that. I have to rest. I, I, I can't keep going with only 15 HP. It's just not gonna work. <laughs> the green blob guy was sad because his hat was small. Probably. Of course, I got a curse. Because, why not? Freaking hate decay. Wow, literally everything costs three. I have to rest again. This is not going according to plan. I need to get rid of some of this. I gotta get rid of decay. Really? One wonders if the plan is the problem. You know what? It very well may be. But that is entirely up to, you know, various who knows what powers of the cosmos. All right, who's the bad guy here? Oh, Eyeball Dude. I'm not a fan of Eyeball Dude. Eyeball Dude and his miniature Eyeball Dudes.
All right, made it through the second one. Oh, yes, please. I'll take healing at the end of combat. Th th wait, this is not going slower than my slow runs. Is it? I, I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's not. Don't lie! In the words of Howard from Dilbert, why do you say things that you know will hurt me? Oh, bugger. Well, the good news is that he's got a flex on set. Good news is that we can take him out this turn. Like I said. I want to avoid the elites as much as possible because the elites, especially here in Act 3, are really, really annoying. And they're, they're just terrible. It's so annoying because it's like I'm right there. They have single digits left of health. Uh, dang it. I really don't want to do this. Sad Hat Blob again. <laughs> yes, that is his official title, the Sad Hat Blob. We do feel ever so sorry for him constantly. Hey, look, I got a dead branch. Because, hooray for a frickin' branch. No! I don't want any of those things to happen! <laughs> uh, well, somebody's planning to attack me, so... We will go ahead and use that. There 
Here we go. I will go and visit the merchant. Excellent. We get some scales here. Oh, we can't afford it! Can't afford it, you guys. Can't afford to get rid of stuff. Overall, though, I still have a decent feeling about this. And I do have a fairy in a bottle for the uh, for the final boss as well, so I'm not super worried in that regard. I don't remember getting or using or doing anything to receive that card. Oh, it's because I exhausted something. When did I exhaust something? I don't know. I'm just confused now. Sure, I'll lose all my gold. It doesn't matter. I've got nothing left. So we'll do bash. All right, here we go. Let's go. Twenty-three oh three. Alright. I so I lost count at fifty-five squats. Alright. Let me see how many I need to do. Uh let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So I, I was at 55, so 56. All right. Uh, so there you go. That's the semi-speed-ish run of Slay the Spire there for you. While I finish up my squats. Now, to be fair, I can force squats to be spread out, or I can just shut them off. The fact is that it's good exercise. Squats are an excellent way to keep up your general health.
Hmm. So basically, in that particular run, I didn't get a chance to lose as many cards as I would have liked. So I ended up having a somewhat clogged deck. So you can see here on my run history. So there's this one. So there we go, 1611. So that was a really good one that I had not long ago. That was awesome. But you can see I only had 10 cards in my entire in my entire deck. And only three of them were cards that I started with. It was the bash and the two strikes. Uh. But yeah, fun times. Oh, so here. Incidentally, while we're waiting, Okay. Uh oh. It's not working, you guys. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Hang on one second. Hey, there we go. So, welcome to Slay the Spire Downfall. This is the Slay the Spire mod that goes in both directions. And you can take that if a as a joke if you wish. My personal favorite is to play it as Downfall because you get to play as the bad guys. And so I've been trying to beat it as the Hex Ghost, which is an awesome little dude. But basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. In Downfall, you start at the top and you go downwards. And at the bottom of every single one, you fight against one of the uh, regular, uh, what's it called? Regular good guys. But I had just unlocked Hex Ghost not too long ago. Um, incidentally, all of the bad guys that you fight are exactly the same, except for at the very bottom. Those are the only ones that are different. Charging flame. Okay. A lot of the bad guys have this similar type of thing. Okay. There we go. But yeah, basically all of the characters, or rather all of the, um, uh, all of the bad guys are designed and have their own decks of cards. I don't know what soul burn is, but take that! Get some! Ugh. I lost count again. We'll just say I was at 130. 130! Here's 140. No, it's not how this works. Let's see. Ooh, detonate soul burn. I like that. Let's 
So you can see it has its own unique deck here of different things that you can do. Obviously has its own specific relic. And at the bottom, I'm facing off against this guy. So this is actually a unique character that was made for this expansion as well called the Hermit. So here, I'll go ahead and exit out of this so that you all can see just real quick. Um, oh, dang, I can't see him. Well, either way, he's a dude that basically uses a gun. And it's interesting because the way that his mechanic works is depending on the physical location of the cards within your hand, like if it's in the middle of your hand, sometimes stuff will do more damage or they'll have certain effects and things like that. And he also has abilities that um, actually help him when he gets cursed. So it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, hey -ya! Hey -ya! There, extra squats for you, Rev. Uh, say something nice. Um, I don't know. I, uh... I, I tried really hard at work today. Does that count? Is that nice enough? Ugh. Hermit craft. I can't say I'm familiar with hermit craft. That's unfortunate though. I'm sorry to hear. I, I wish I was more familiar with the, the concept in the shtick. But, yeah. That sucks. Tinfoil chef. Tinfoil chef. Mm. Bummer. I don't know. We've lost a lot of really good people recently. I figured that it was a Minecraft something or other because it's got craft in it. Oh, it's all content creators. Oh, that's cool. Dang. That really sucks, though. Ah, it's unfortunate. It's really sad to see a lot of these YouTubers dying so young. It's really, really unfortunate. Not to mention, it's really the epitome a lot of times of the 15 minutes of fame, where it's like they're popular and then they do like one stupid thing and everything comes crashing down around them. Oh, he was 63? Okay, well, that's, I mean, it's not as bad, I guess. But I know, like, uh, we just lost Olivia Newton-John in the last few days. And then, um, oh, who was the other one? There was an, another person who passed away. She was only, like, 44 or something like that. And then, of course, uh, Solomon Rushdie got attacked uh, when he was giving a, a reading or a speech or something. And it's just... It was a very bad weekend for people. Oh, not fun. But we tried slaying spires at least. And Hesh, thank you. That's who it was. Um, that said, that's gonna be it for me. I've gotta get going now. Um, so for Saturday, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm happy to take suggestions as always. Um, last, uh, last Saturday, I did uh, City Skylines. I really enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun with it. Um, I guess it's not, for me at least, the best of the streaming things because I have to pay too close of attention to what's going on. But I, I love games like that. So maybe that's, maybe that's the, the problem is that I, I keep having to focus too much. We can do Baba is You. That's a good one. But either way, you all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be well. Have fun. And I will hopefully see you all on Saturday. Bye-bye.